All right, so we're going to look at what I spent most of my Saturday working on. It took a lot longer than I expected, but I this is an idea I've had for a while. I finally got a light in this little stairway uh, that is able to show me all the imperfections I got on the wall uh, a lot better. Uh, but also, I can put stuff and relatively see it, yet it not be too bright that it's going to fade the colors. So I don't know how well this will turn out for filming. I know you'll have echo because of the walls, but we're going to be putting more stuff on these walls. They're pretty high. can't really tell how high on the film. Uh, but this is my minifigure wall going up or down the stairs, depending on which way <laughs> you want to do it. And I haven't decided what minifigures, how I'm going to store them. And it is going to be a pain to take things out. But once I get them in there, I won't have to take them out again. Uh, so this is going to be mainly for display. This won't be minifigures that I'll be getting out a lot. So it'll be more of probably literally the collectible minifigures or rare minifigures will probably go in here. I actually don't know what I do with all of my rare minifigures. <laughs> All right, so these are the old style containers. Um, you have some that hold eight, some that hold 16. This style is newer, uh, but is not compatible. The studs don't work because this is actually a little thinner. It's a little bit thinner than the old one there. So they don't make the old one anymore. I don't know if I have any more in the basement. I dug through what I where I knew some were. There may be one or two hiding down in the basement somewhere. If I put find them, I can put them on top. Uh, some of these are not bolted in. I did bolt them to the wall using the little uh, screw things that go into the sheetrock. So we got, there's 52 quadrants of eight. That's the way I counted it. So some of them are eight, some of them are 16. I just counted each quadrant of eight. So that's room for 416 minifigures. And again, not every one of these has a minifigure. So let's go through it real quick and show you what we got. These are the NBA minifigures. Uh, shout out to Vince Carter, who plays for the Atlanta Hawks, starting his 22nd year in the NBA. Nobody in the history of the NBA has played 22 years. He was a prolific dunker back in the day with the Raptors. That is his Toronto Rapper, Rap, Rapper, Raptor, the, you know, the little uh, dinosaur. Um, so uh, Vince, yeah, like I say, plays for the Hawks. Uh, these figures came out in 2003. And until recently, there were a couple of players, you know, Dirk Nowitzki played for a while. Uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> played for a while for the Spurs. Actually, I got two of him in there. Uh, th this is, and again, this is, I need to go through and figure out all of the different varieties of NBA minifigures, and I'm probably going to put them all through here. Can't remember how many uh, there are, uh, but this is, uh, I have the complete collection as far as uh, that goes. But yeah, anyway, that's, this isn't about the NBA minifigures, but yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. Somebody 16 years ago was a minifigure and he's still playing basketball. Back when I first started watching basketball, it was rare that anybody played that many, even 16 seasons, let alone 22. All right, so this is the rest of the minifigures. No particular order. Like I, get, I said, I got to go through and organize them. Some of them have body parts missing. Uh, I don't know if I stole them or they might be brick stolen. <laughs> I was originally, when the minifigure series had 16, I would put, if I had a complete set, I would put it in one of these. I don't know which ones I have complete sets of anymore. There's Nacho Libre. Um, so here's some more. Uh, and there's another one missing body parts. <laughs> I don't know. So I got to figure out what I'm doing. There's another one missing body parts. And I got room to put more. Uh, this was, was going to be the Sig Fig one. I, but I got too many Sig Figs to do there. There's bricks for Chris. Uh, so I got to figure out what to do. Um, I was hoping I would have enough of these display cases I could put the sig figs in there, but the sig figs are something I might want to get out. I'm getting more of an echo as I go up the stairs, so I apologize for that. More of them. Hey, look, it's Jang bricks. And um, yeah, this is the rest of them. There's Dominique. Dominique. I think that's the harder to find chrome 
It's hard to tell in the dark. I think that's the Chrome Vader. I can't tell from here. I know I got the Chrome Vader. I'm not sure where he is. You want to get the Chrome Stormtrooper too. So there may be a couple more of the... Wait, is that the... I don't know. Is that the... Oh, there's the Chrome Vader right there. So that's not the Chrome Vader. That's just a regular one. That's the Chrome. That's the Chrome. So a couple of rare minifigures there. This is They Might Be Brick's favorite minifigure case there. And then we got empty ones up here. All right, so that is the collection. All right, so tell me what you think. And then on these other walls, oh, I guess I should go back up. It's pretty high. I don't think I've shown this place much again because it's um, been dark, relatively dark. I just had one little tiny bulb. I've changed it with this shop light. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you there. So I'm going to go to the top. Whoa. <laughs> it's pretty high. <laughs> so the minifigures are way down there. So I got all this space here. I'm going to put posters on there, posters there, posters here. Uh, the reason I didn't put the minifigures on this side is because they were, I think they were more likely to get knocked over. Plus, sheetrock so far down is glued. Uh, to the foundation so it would be a little bit more tricky to put the screws in uh, i think it just worked better over here but anyway yeah so we'll be putting posters will be lego and non-lego related posters going there but this gives people something to see as they come down to the basement oh i got a little bit winded oh well, let's do a haul let's throw in a haul it's another brick model railroader haul here they might be great. Oh, when I was putting all that stuff up, he, he was talking to me. He's like, I don't want to do more YouTube. I was like, you can do more YouTube. I'm sure a lot of people would like to see what videos you can make. So I bought some of the bearing wheel sets from Brick Model Railroad. That's kind of why I'm just throwing these in this haul. bought three sets because I know I'm going to be building an extra tank car, extra flat car, and an extra box car. So I got three. Um... It's just the, they, the the wheels on bearings instead of the typical. They're, they're the regular Lego wheels, but they're through a Technic beam and they have bearings. I think I mentioned that in other videos. So I picked up three sets from them. Bought those uh, from Brick Model Railroader. And my BrickLink orders did not come today. Still waiting on that one from the ne Netherlands. i got two or three other orders I'm waiting on uh, to finish Well, I don't know if I'll have enough to finish the tank car, but I know I'll have enough to finish the other flat car and the box car. So these are some of the posters. We got the AFAL posters. We got uh, Bricks on the Dollar makes. There's the Black Tron. That's a, that is an amazing poster. That's just one of our favorites. There's the Agents. I got some smaller posters. I got comic book stuff. I got a Doctor Who comic book there. And I got these boxes of posters from my my teenage years i got this atlanta hawks poster this is actually 83 84 which um yeah so dominique wilkins featured there on the front i gotta get a poster frame for this it's actually the calendar of oh look turtles records and tapes you may remember turtles records and tape they were a sponsor of the hawks apparently there's tree rollins cordial's own tree rollins um so yeah, I got tons, tons of other posters. Most of these here are not Lego related. Uh, there are a few, um, and there's some that people gave us. There's actually another stack of posters, I think, somewhere, because I haven't been able to find them. So we're going to work on uh, getting poster frames for this stuff, too. But that's what I've been doing. Thanks for watching this video. That was my Saturday, and I'm going to go watch the Hawks game.